What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It has been a couple weeks since I've posted, but I am really looking forward to this video. So this video is top 10 tech tools that you need under $100. Starting with the iFixit kit. You probably have seen this. You probably know what it is. All the bits. Um, iFixit makes breakdowns to repair computers and phones and electronics. This is one of their kits with all the bits that you might ever need to repair any electronic. Uh, I mean, literally security bits, Torx bits, Phillips. I mean, everything is here. If you've ever taken apart electronic, you know how viable this tool is right here. So in the tech world, this is definitely one of my favorite tech tools. At, and it's only about $35, which is pretty great for all the tools that you get with this box. Next up, we got the XLR Sniffer by Sound Tools. If you don't know what this is, it's basically two XLR connectors with some LED lights on the end so if i put it together here you can see it lights up on the end there um, what this does is it allows you to trace xlrs but it also uh, lets you check if they are in phase so if you can't find that xlr or if that xlr is acting up and you don't know what's wrong with it you can use this guy to check if it's in phase they also make it in a five pin version for you lighting guys out there uh, so whether you do audio or lighting, this tool is very handy. It's about $70, but it is well worth having in your tool kit. Next up, we got these guys right here. They are DMX to Cat5 adapters. So I got both male and female DMX right here, Cat5 ends over here. Uh, this is about $15, uh, but it is well worth the money. So if you have a Cat5 cable and you need a DMX cable, you put this on each end, and boom, you got yourself a DMX cable. Super, super handy to have in your kit. You never know when you might need something like this to convert a Cat5 run that's already ran. There's Cat5 usually all over commercial buildings, so to be able to have this readily available, you got your DMX cable. Next, we're gonna be talking about rigger tools. Now, I have two here. This one's from Robe, and this one's from VER. Um, both of these were gifts to me, but they range from about 40, 50 bucks if you can find them online. And what they are is they are a specialty tool that has all the nut, nuts and bolt sizes here with the wing nut here. And it's basically for putting lights on pipe or truss. Um, so ideally you use this instead of a C-wrench. I personally like a C-wrench more, maybe because I haven't given this a chance, but these tools have both saved my butt multiple times. Uh, They've just been there for me. Very lightweight, easy to keep in your Pelican. You won't really notice that they're there. Worth having around. And if you don't want to use a C-Wrench, that's a great solution to not using a C-Wrench. Next up, we got the Small Rig Video Multi-Tool. Now, if you don't know what this is, if you rig any kind of camera system, whether it's something like this right here or your DSLR, you know that usually you need Allens, you need a flathead, and sometimes you need a Phillips. And that's exactly what this is. This gives you the most common Allen sizes, along with a Phillips flathead and a Torx bit, right in your pocket. I use this tool all the time, so I don't have to deal with having all the different Allens laying around. This usually gets it done for me. Uh, it's 20 bucks, well worth the $20 to always have in your kit, in your pocket. If you do anything with cameras, you need this small rig multi-tool. Next up is this small rig parts organizer. This lets you organize quarter 20s, 3.8s, M5s, and 4s, plus having a couple Allens and a flathead right here that magnetize into the tool. It is well worth having this tool. I like having my screws more organized than just throwing them in a bag. In my Pelican, this slides in keeps my screws organized. I always know where everything is. Plus having the tools on here make this tool worth the 20 bucks that it is. 
Next up, this is from REI. This is an HDMI splitter. So our one in, two out splitter. Uh, not only does this split HDMI, but this is a HDCP stripper. So if you don't know what that is, sometimes when you plug a computer into a switcher or a projector, it has protection, it's for copyright, so that way you don't steal content. But in our case, sometimes you just want to plug in a computer to present your keynote on your projectors, but it's not working. That's where this comes in. It strips the HDCP protection from the computer, so that way your projector or switcher can read your computer. Very, very handy to have in your kit. Uh, I always try to have one on me. It, it's come in clutch more than once having this little HDMI splitter in my Pelican. About 20 to $40, depending on which one you like. I prefer the REI one, I think it is really nice. Next up is the Blackmagic Micro Converter. Now this is an HDMI to SDI converter and it converts both directions. It converts HDMI to SDI and SDI to HDMI. And that's why I like having this one in my Pelican. Uh, it's about 60 or $70 and they make a newer one as well. But I like it because it converts both directions. It's always nice having a converter with you. Um, if you can afford it, up down cross converter does scaling as well. But having this at a minimum, it allows you to scale both ways. You just never know which direction you might need and you always need one. Like I pull this out of my Pelican all the time. So it is totally worth having this bi-directional converter in your Pelican. One of the last tools, this is new to me. It is a Mutiny DTAP power tester. And I will show you what I mean by that. So if you have a camera like this guy here and you can plug it into the battery. So you can see there, it tells you the voltage of the DTAP port. Now, not always needed on a battery because you have battery indicators, but where it is handy is when you have DTAP ports on cameras or things like that. It allows you to test and see what voltage, currently nothing, the camera's off, but it lets you see the voltage coming out of any DTAP port. So if ever you have a problem, your device isn't working, plug this little guy in and it tells you how much voltage is coming out. Also, if you're concerned about a product being overloaded with voltage, you can plug this in and it'll tell you the voltage before you plug in your product so you know you're not gonna fry it. Uh, this is about 50 bucks, but it is worth having in your kit if you ask me. And the last product is gonna be an iPhone app. This app is called CadRage and what it lets you do is it lets you select any camera and any lens that you want and using your phone's cameras, it'll let you see what that focal length will look like on that camera wherever you are. So I use this all the time when I'm scouting a room, I'll walk in, pull up the camera, pull up the lens, and I can see pretty realistically what that focal length will look like in that room. It is way handier than having to pull out your whole camera, slap a lens on it to see what the shot's gonna look like. This gives me a great idea for shot placement. If you're interested in seeing about what apps I use for AVL work, drop a comment down below. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. I've been thinking about making that video detailing all the apps that I use on a daily basis for production work. Well guys, that wraps up top 10 tech tools under $100. So to quickly go over it again, we got the iFixit kit, the XLR sniffer from Sound Tools, the Rigger tools, DMX to Cat5 adapters, our DTAP power tester, our HDMI splitter, our bi-directional converter SDI to HDMI, our small rig multi-tool, and our small rig uh, bits screws organizer, plus our iPhone app. I will put links to all of these down in the description below, and if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to hit subscribe and always feel free to ask any questions in the comments below.